Just. And a lot of times, the student's not sure what that is, but if you remember doing a P over Q list in Algebra 2, that is the rational zero test. So when I say P over Q, P is the constant, and Q is the leading coefficient, so the number that's being multiplied by X with the biggest exponent. And what the rational zero test says is that you should make a list of numbers. This is also very common on the ACT, or at least used to be. And it says take plus or minus all the factors of P and divide it by plus or minus all the factors of Q. So. <clears throat> Plus or minus all the numbers that go into 16 would be plus or minus 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And then plus or minus all of the factors of Q. The only factor of 1 is 1. So this is what they're looking for as an answer. But what this is trying to tell you and why it sometimes shows up on the ACT and whatnot is that this test, not all of these are the zeros. This guy only has three zeros. But basically any of these numbers over any of these numbers are the only possible zeros that are rational numbers. So there might still be some imaginary zeros. There might be some zeros with like a square root of three. It doesn't help us find any of those. But for the rational numbers, it has to be in this list. So for example, notice 5 is not in this list. So that tells me there's zero chance 5 is an x-intercept. There's no chance 5 could be a 0. 7 is not in this list, so there's no chance that this guy has an x-intercept of 7. 8 is in the list, so 8 might be an x-intercept. It's likely to be an x-intercept, but not guaranteed. So the second half of this question says then compare with their graph. And so looking at their graph, it looks like there's a 0 at negative 2. Notice negative 2 is right here in the list. There's a 0 at positive 2, which is also right there, positive 2 over positive 1. And it comes back and hits 4. And 4 is in this list as well. So not everything in this list is a 0, but everything everything in this list is the only possible rational zeros. No other rational number could possibly be a zero for this function.